Okay, so we're all living in this new AI era, right? It's touching everything. And if you're a quant, someone working right at the heart of finance, this isn't just a small shift, it's a seismic one. So the big question is, what does this actually mean for your skills, for your future? And yeah, this is the question on literally everyone's mind. You got these incredible AI tools that can just spit out code. You ask them to do something and boom, there it is. So you got to wonder, right? Why would I even bother learning to code anymore? You know, there's this common fear, and it's kind of a compelling fantasy, isn't it? The idea that you can just describe a trading strategy in plain English, and poof, a professional-grade trading model just materializes out of thin air. But as you can probably guess, that's not really how it works. That's not the whole picture. But what if we're looking at this all wrong? The key idea from the material we're digging into today presents a really powerful, kind of counterintuitive argument. It says that instead of being this great equalizer, AI coding assistants are actually doing the opposite. They're making the productivity gap between the true experts and, well, everyone else, even bigger. And this right here, this is the absolute key. It's not about skill replacement. It's about skill amplification. So don't think of AI as a self-driving car that makes you, the driver, obsolete. No way. Think of it more like a turbocharger. You bolt it onto an already powerful engine, and what happens? You get an insane boost in performance. AI does the same thing for expertise. It multiplies its value. It doesn't just get rid of it. Okay, so this is where you can really see that widening gap in action. A novice, someone just starting out, they get a little boost from AI. That's nice. But an expert? An expert who knows how to leverage AI? Wow. Their productivity doesn't just go up a little bit, it goes through the roof. It's an exponential leap. So that skills gap, it doesn't close. It becomes a canyon. So what does this all mean? Well, this huge shift creates an opening. It gives rise to a totally new archetype for success in finance a new kind of professional who is perfectly designed to ride this wave to harness this amplification effect. And we have a name for this new archetype. We call this person the super quant. Now, let's be clear. This isn't just your regular quant who kind of plays around with AI on the side. Not at all. This is a professional who has genuinely mastered the combination, the synthesis, of three totally distinct but absolutely crucial domains. Think of it like a three-legged stool. These are the essential pillars. First, you've got to have that deep domain expertise. You have to know finance inside and out to even ask the right questions. Second, you need rock-solid coding skills to actually build the foundation of your solution. And third, you need to master AI leverage to accelerate everything, to explore possibilities you couldn't before. If you're missing even one of those legs, the whole thing just falls apart. Okay, so that's the theory, right? It sounds great. But what does this look like in the real world? What does a superquant actually do all day? Let's make this way more concrete. We're going to go on a little safari, if you will, through their toolkit to see how all these skills come together. And this is where the magic happens. Their real power comes from knowing exactly which tool to pull out for which job. You'll see them backtesting trading strategies with pandas, then whipping up predictive models with scikit-learn. They're pricing incredibly complex options using NumPy and even using advanced libraries like Transformers to analyze new sentiment in real time. It's all part of this seamless, powerful workflow. And the thing is, it's not just a random collection of tools. There's a very specific, very powerful process they follow. It always starts with that domain expertise. You've got to frame the problem correctly, ask the right financial question before you ever write a line of code. Then you use your coding skills to build the core solution. And only then, at the end, do you bring in the AI to accelerate, to refine, and to really push the boundaries of what that solution can do. And the impact of this workflow? It's pretty staggering. I mean, think about this. The source material we're looking at suggests that for certain tasks, like building a prototype or doing deep analysis, a single super quant could potentially do the work that used to require an entire team of junior analysts. One person. You know, this isn't some isolated thing that's only happening in finance. Not at all. This is a fundamental shift in how knowledge work gets done, period. 
we're seeing the exact same pattern pop up in other fields, like law. You have a senior partner who, by leveraging AI for legal research, can now accomplish in a day what used to take a whole team of associates weeks to slog through. All right, so what does all of this mean for you, for your career path? The big takeaway here shouldn't be fear. It shouldn't be, oh no, the robots are coming. The takeaway should be about strategy. It's about having a clear plan for how you're going to thrive in this new world. Look, the path forward isn't about trying to compete with AI head on. You're not going to outcode the machine. That's a losing battle. The real goal is to master the foundational skills that let you be the pilot, the one who directs the AI. So what do you do? You build stuff. You get your hands dirty with practical projects. You have to focus on that special combination, your unique expertise, plus your coding ability, plus AI leverage, because that's the trifecta that no machine on its own can ever replicate. So let's end on this note. Let's reframe that initial question we started with. The question isn't whether AI will replace you. That's playing defense. This is about playing offense. It's about whether you will choose to become a super quant. Because the future isn't going to belong to the people who get replaced by AI. It's going to belong to the ones who learn how to merge their own deep expertise with its incredible power to become something much, much more.